everyone and welcome to today's video. Call me Briar and in today's video, I am basically tackling this cool trend I saw on Instagram where people were taking the Starry Night painted by Vincent Van Gogh and turning it into some sort of ball gown or suit for a ball. This trend is typically supposed to be you drawing yourself going to the ball, but the design I really wanted to draw isn't something I actually see myself wearing, so it's more of a create an OC based off of this trend. This will be posting a short based off of this video at some point. It'll either be a few days before this video, a few days after, or the same day as this video. I haven't decided yet, but if it has been uploaded, there will be a link either in the corner of this video or in the description, so make sure to go check it out. First thing I do is just make sure I have some sort of base to draw the outfit on, almost as if I have a doll that I am putting outfits on. I believe this is what most artists do, but I always make sure that I actually draw a proper body before I throw on the clothes, it just makes everything so much easier. As always, this drawing began on Pinterest, and I saw this really beautiful corset, bodice type of piece on this dress, and I really loved it, so I decided to take that design and use it in my dress. As for the actual skirt fabric part of the dress, I decided to do this sort of, I guess, like, one leg sticking out sort of situation. If you couldn't tell, I am obviously not a fashion designer, so I don't know the, per the proper terminology, but I just thought it would be kind of a cool design to have one leg sticking out. And before I went through and did any line art or anything, I wanted to get the colors down for this dress, so I have the silhouette pretty much figured out, and it's just the actual pattern I need to plan. One thing I really wanted to try hard to do was create an actual dress design that was just inspiration from the Starry Night, as opposed to just taking the Starry Night and simply copying and pasting it onto a dress. Now there's definitely nothing wrong with doing that, but just for myself, it didn't sound as fun as coming up with a unique design. The idea I ended up deciding to go with for the dress is I wanted to have this sort of gradient pattern on each of the three sections inspired by the art style of the Starry Night with the oil paints, actually I don't know if it's oil paints, having the individual dashes to make up the subjects decided to make the leggings tights on the leg a simple dark color and I played around with colors quite a bit for the bodice but I ended up deciding on a mixture between white and a very pale yellow. I was about to get started on the line art and then I realized I completely forgot to draw a face and hair. Those are definitely not important at all, totally, 1000%. Anyways, the face isn't anything too special, but for the hair, I decided to take inspiration from what I believe is a cypress tree. My sources could be wrong. And I did this really, I guess, interesting and different updo where I think she just used a lot of hairspray to get it looking like that. At this point, I hadn't really taken any inspiration from the tree, and I also had no idea what to do with her hair, so I decided to kill two birds with one stone and create a hairdo based off of the tree. So while I was rambling, I finished up the line art, and it's pretty much ready now to move on to the coloring. For the coloring, I just stuck with what I already decided beforehand, and I did a lot of copying and pasting. So I would essentially draw one panel out of the section, and then just copy and paste it for the rest of the panel, so I didn't have to draw as many dashes. You know what they say, work smarter, not harder. Anyways, so I literally just continued this process like two more times. This is probably the most tedious part of the artwork. I mean, it's definitely like the best part of the outfit and the drawing, but it took so long. Oh my god. Like, I think this artwork took me around four-ish hours, and I think I spent two hours alone just adding in these little dashes. It was horrible. Anyways, I finally finished that and I added in some finishing details and I could move on from the skirt part of the dress. So just like the sketch, I added in a dark purpley blue for the pants and a lighter yellow for the top. And now I'm working on the hair, but before I focus on that, I just want to talk about this little belt piece I have on her waist. So I did not come up with this design, I actually found it from Pinterest, which I'll put the image up here, and I just thought it looked really cool, and I thought it really would fit the design, as it's meant to be the starry night and its moons. 
I did not like the hair. The hair was not looking good. I tried to fix it by adding a bit more of a hairline. And I added in these little hair accessories to kind of symbolize the stars in the painting. But I just don't like it. I'm quite happy with the rest of the drawing, but it just doesn't look that good. And for the background, I just simply used the original painting and added in some fancy lighting. That is pretty much it. And there you have it, the final drawing. I am honestly in love with how this design turned out. I think it looks really cool, and it's more than what I was expecting. It definitely accomplishes my goal of wanting to create something unique and original, but still has the essence of the original Starry Night. I would honestly love to do more outfit type of challenges later in the future, just because I find it so fun to get to design and create original outfits and clothing. Let me know what you think of the final drawing in the comments down below, and if you liked the video, make sure to give a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel or you just haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notification bells so you're alerted every time I upload a video. That is all that I have to say for now, so remember to stay weird and I'll see you guys next time.